Some of you might know this machine as Gemini 3200D. Gemini is just one of the brands. There are many different brands using exactly the same configuration of machine. Today, I am going to share with you a review of this Maximus Pro, which is a custom version of CRM 3200D, specially made for Thailand. So what makes this Maximus Pro different from the other CRM 3200D? Number one is the color. This model comes in two colors, glossy white, special white color, and also wood. And the parts that use brass metals now use copper. So this one is definitely more robust, more durable, and also looks better. Let's take a look at the accessories that come with the machine. It comes with a temper, stainless steel bottom, plastic handle, definitely an upgrade from the original version, which was all plastic. It comes with a stainless steel port to filter, plastic handle, double spout, beautiful design. Also comes with two baskets, single basket and double basket, both stainless steels. It comes with a backflash basket, which you put in your porta filter so that when you clean your group head, the water just flows within the group head. It also comes with a brush, which can be used to clean your basket. It also comes with a brush to clean the group head and the other end is the scoop to scoop up the detergent that will be used to clean your group head. The machine comes with a stem tip with three holes and a spare one with four holes. If you are a beginner, I would suggest you use the one with the three holes. And if you're more advanced, use the one with four holes because it's got more air coming out into your milk and generating that microphone. It also comes with a hose which can be connected to the inlet in the machine so that you don't have to worry about the water overflowing in your drip tray. So it goes straight into the drain and there is also a ring that locks the hose into the inlet of the machine. Let's take a look at the features of this machine. Right here you've got the electronic panel. This is the power on standby mode. So you can turn it on and off if you're not using it. You've got the button for single shot of espresso, the button for double shot of espresso, and this can be programmed according to your requirements. And this is the button to pull water, hot water out of the hot water nozzle. You've got this as a free flow. So it really you can start and stop depending on how much espresso shot you'd like to pull from the machine. It is housed in mirror stainless steel. Sides are spray painted white or wood depending on the color that you choose. It has the hot water nozzle made in stainless steel. It's got the group head also stainless steel, 58 millimeter in diameter. It's got a stainless steel steam one for steaming your milk, which can be adjusted depending on your dominant hand and depending on which one you're comfortable with. Now this is the pressure gauge. The pressure gauge does not move until you pull your espresso shots. So it should go up to about nine bar, depending on whether you have um, the right tamping pressure, you have the right amount of uh, coffee in your filter basket. So all different factors here, but we're aiming to use about nine bars. This is a drip tray where the water goes into and you can take it off. So once it is full, you can take it off and throw the water away, or you can connect this machine to the hose straight into your drain. Next, this is the cup stand, which comes with the machine. And this is very useful because if you have a short cup, you can use the stand if you're pulling straight into your plastic cup there. But if you have a long cup like this one, 22 ounces, you can take out the cup stand and you can still put your cup here. The top of the machine serves as cup warmer. This is very, very useful because when you make hot coffee, you'd like your cup to be warm as well. This machine uses flow meter system. That means you can program your buttons depending on how much espresso shot you'd like to pull. So you could say 30 ml or 60 ml and that is how you program those buttons here single shot double shot now to program it you just press the button until you reach 30 ml let's say for one shot of espresso if you'd like to pull 25 ml you just release it each time you achieve your desired amount of espresso shot and it's the same for the double shot button here for the water it's the same keep pressing it until you reach the desired amount of water that you'd like to program it and then release once it's there this button is the manual flow i would suggest that you leave it as it is you just press it when you'd like to pull your espresso shot and release once you've achieved the amount of espresso shot that you are aiming for say 45 or 20 mil the most common problem of this machine that I found is that the single shot and double shot button program might not work all the time. There are a lot of factors that are involved here. The tamp pressure, the amount of coffee beans in your portafilter basket, 
it also depends on the coffee beans that you use. So I would suggest that you use the manual flow. With the manual flow, you can use a shot glass and press it on and then stop once you achieve the level that you're aiming for. Or you can also use a scale. In terms of this team, this is a knob here. You can turn it on to the maximum or you can just leave it to the middle if you are a beginner. But I find that I always use it to the maximum. Now the steam tip here, as I said earlier, there is a spare one that you can change this into. This one is a four hole steam tip. You can change it to the three hole if you are a beginner, but four hole is perfect for making that steamed milk with microphone. The water capacity of the machine is 1.7 liter. Make sure that it is always full. You don't want this drying up or your machine will break down faster. Let's start with the operation of this machine. First, turn the switch on, which is located at the bottom right hand corner. Once you've turned the main switch on, make sure that you've also pressed this button and this will start your machine. From the time that you start your machine, this buttons will be blinking. That means the machine is not yet ready for use and you have to wait until this are stable. There's another way to check whether your machine is ready. You can check the steam. If there's any steam coming out of your steam tip or steam one, then it means that your machine is ready. At the moment, it is not ready. Nothing is coming out of here. So it should be about three to five minutes. The pressure gauge does not go up until you use your group head and that is when the pressure will go up. So don't be alarmed if you don't see it moving. Now the buttons are no longer blinking. It means the machine is ready. Let's check if there's any steam. Yes, the steam coming out, that means we are ready to use our machine. This is a double boiler machine. What does it mean? It means there's a separate boiler for the hot water and also for the steam. And the capacity is one liter. So you have the hot water that is used by the hot water nozzle and the steam, which is right on top, always ready for you to use when you steam your milk. And another boiler is used for coffee. That means the coffee boiler or the ones that is used to pull your espresso shot and the capacity of that is 800 milliliters. A double boiler machine also means that you can't pull your espresso shot and steam your milk at the same time. Now this is a system that uses pre-infusion. That means the first time you press the button, a small amount of water will come out, infuse the coffee, and then pull the rest of your espresso out. So if you can hear the sound twice. There are two LED lights at the bottom here enabling you to see your shots and also when you steam your milk and also set the mood. I call them the mood lights, making your machine look more attractive than it already is. Okay, in terms of size, very small, very compact, easy enough to put on the bar in your cafes and also if you have a coffee corner at home, this will fit very, very nicely. If you would like to know what else you need to complete your espresso machine set, do check out my video link above. In there you will see a list of gadgets and accessories that are nice to have and also must have. Let's start making a coffee. I'm going to pull one shot of espresso, two shots of espresso, make a dirty coffee and also make a hot latte. To pull my one shot of espresso, instead of using the program one shot button here, I'm going to use the manual flow and use the scale to measure the amount or the yield of my coffee. Now let's make the double shot espresso. Once again, I am going to use the manual flow button here instead of using the program two shots because I have already shown you that in another video clip and also I'm going to use the scale. This time I'm going to make dirty coffee. More coffee beans, finer grind, tamping stronger than normal so that I will be able to pull very concentrated restrator shots. 20 to 25 milliliters using about 50 to 60 seconds. Set it to zero and we're going to time this. Use the manual button here. If 
finally let us test the steam. I'm going to pull one shot of espresso straight into my cup once again using the manual flow button and the scale. When I hit 30 milliliters of coffee here I'm going to stop now let's steam our milk. I'm going to use the steaming wand here with the four hole tip just to make sure I get enough pressure here and enough air into my milk and I must say it is looking good. Now it's time to pour it into my espresso. There you go, hot latte using Maximus Pro 3200D. My verdict on this machine, well, I love the color of it, white color, it will be perfect for me, I love white. The features, it has all the features comparable to even my Nova Simonelli Musica machine here, very, very easy to use. In fact, I think I get perfect shots easier, faster on this machine than on my Simonelli machine, but it just might be me. When you use the single shot program and double shot program, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work. So my suggestion to counteract that is to use the manual flow button and use the scale to measure the espresso shots that you pull and also make sure that you get exactly the, the right amount of espresso shots in the right time that you need to pull your shots. So always, if you're pulling one shot of espresso, make it at least 21 to 29 seconds. If you're pulling two shots of espresso, especially for iced coffee, go from 25 to 35 seconds and that is perfectly fine. In terms of steaming capacity, I think it is short on my expectations. I think it can be a little bit stronger, but perhaps the next time you can use the one with the four holes here. So you will have more air injected into your milk and you get that microphone faster. In terms of the temper, this is definitely better than the plastic one. I would say this is better, but not yet as good as it should be. So I would suggest that you get a proper heavy temper like this one. Everything is stainless steel because this one, the, the top part is plastic. So it's not heavy enough, not strong enough. Overall, I would say if you are looking for an affordable, easy to use, gorgeous looking espresso machine, to start your coffee shop with or even to just make your espresso at home then definitely I would recommend Maximus Pro CRM 3200D pair it with a semi-automatic grinder like this one here and you get great tasting espresso each time if you have any questions about these machines do let me know I may not be able to answer all of them but somebody in the community might be able to help you out in the meantime stay safe stay tuned I'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.